All right. Um, let's get to it tomorrow morning. This is, this is the way life should be. You wake up. If you go to sleep at 4 a.m. like us <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you wake up a little later than the most, or I, I tried to, if my son's not screaming in my face, um, but uh, JMU UIC fun game going on there in Daytona beach, Florida is a fun matchup. Mm-hmm. I am going to take JMU minus three and a half. Is this standalone too? So we have to 11 a.m. or baby on baller TV, <sighs> baller TV. Man, I'm kind of, I think this is one of the harder ones though. I'm going to take JMU, lock it up. Give me the Dukes, but kind of intrigued by this game. I think it's a good first game to start our day off with some hoops. What are you doing here, Mac? We will do battle at 11 a.m. Bring your mimosas. I think UIC, I think the wrong team's favorite. I think they're better than JMU right now. I think uh, JMU's still on that brand name from last year's tournament. I like this. Uh, Veteran group from UIC, what I've seen so far. Let's go. UIC, lock. Phoenix, what side do you want? I am going to go with the Flames here. Um, for, what it, for what it's worth, Cocktail Napkin uh, has JMU minus two, so it's a little bit rich uh, on that side of the, uh, the, the, the game in this one. And they haven't looked tremendous to start the season. UIC is not a team that I'm really buying into long-term here either. Um, personally, I, th- I think James Madison's going to be the better team throughout and they might even win this game in a close one. Um, but, uh, I, I just think I'll, I'll take the over one possession with the flames and opening night or opening game here on the day. We got a battle in Daytona beach. Dundee with them Dukes. Uh, Patty C. Just, I'm just thinking of Patty C. Um, uh, Miami Drake in Charleston, South Carolina. This Miami logo is fire. They should never go away from this logo. Why does he um, have a bandage on his head? Uh, you know, Miami and the. You ever watch Cocaine Cowboys, that documentary? No. I mean, we, it's, we talk it's about out this there almost every night. <laughs> it's out there for you. That's not a movie, that's a documentary. It's different. <laughs> Same thing. All right. Go <laughs> learn something, you son of a gun. All right. Get over there. <laughs> Joking. But uh, you should watch it because it's awesome. I mean, but I can tell you this it's better than the country music awards. All right. Go, go, go check out, go check out Cocaine Cowboys. I think the chat, anyone in the chat that's seen that would back me up, I think. Uh, Miami's laying 10 and a half against Drake. It's too many points for me. What the hell are we talking about here? Yeah. Give me Drake plus 10 and a half. Lock it up. Yes. Yes. Double lock. McCollum, baby. Let's go. Good as a dog. He brought in some of his guys with them. I mean. More continuity with Drake than Landy. There, um, there is a lot of, and this is a lot of points. I think Miami wins the game. Uh, they are my pick to win the tournament, but uh, I'll take the Bulldogs to cover. I really like, uh, you know, what McCollum's got over there at Drake. So, yeah. Um, lock? No. No. Okay. Uh, moving forward. Ohio, Middle Tennessee. Conway, South Carolina. I, t- I already told you what I'm doing with my, my uh, long shot here is the Bobcats. I am laying the one and a half middle Tennessee was a great team at home last year. Elsewhere. They sucked. And guess what? If I had to bet being that I've been to middle Tennessee's campus and gotten severely intoxicated, I think if I had to pick any in that field that would get really, really drunk in Myrtle beach. (laughs) I would vote for middle Tennessee out of that bunch. So give me Ohio. I just think they're due also Ohio. You know, there you look at the record. You don't think they're that good. I think they're a better team than their record. They get it down here in Conway Mac. I know you're on the other side, I guess. So yeah. 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 I, I, I like middle. I like middle. I think that they got drilled, um, by Murray state. I think that humbled them. I think 
I think they got more athletes in Ohio. I, I know Ohio. I like Ohio from the MAC, but I just think Middle's a little bit better of a roster here. Give me a Middle Tennessee to win outright. Lock. Yeah, battle. Let's go. Let's battle early. Let's <laughs> slow it. I am not going to bet this one, um, but uh, I I favor uh, being on the Ohio side a little bit more than Middle Tennessee uh, because of the spot here. They, I mean, they just got drilled by Memphis. They also lost by 10 against Illinois State. But I love the continuity on this team, and I'm going to bet on exp- – I'm not betting in this game, but I'm going to put uh, my mouth where the experience is in this one. And I, I like Ohio and what they have returning. They both got drunk. We got a battle in Conway. Dundee with the Bobcats. Mac with the Blue Raiders. All right. Well. Stay games. This one. LaSalle. You see San Diego at Daytona Beach, Florida. I got to be honest. I thought about this game way too long today. <laughs> I was like, I struggle with this game, man. I, I like, I think UC San Diego is going to pull the upset. This, if you want to call it that, this is a good game. I, I, I really struggle with this one. No lock. I'm fascinated to hear what you guys say about this one, because I think it's a game Mac. I, I like UC San Diego. Disappointing home loss coming into this tournament, but I like I liked what I've seen from them in the other games. Um, opening night against San Diego State, that was a war. Um, LaSalle's as high as they're going to get, man. They're four and zero right now, and I like Dumpy as a dog, not as a favorite. I I'm tempted to bet UC San Diego. I think they're going to win the game outright. I, I'm going to say I think the wrong team's favored in this one as well. I think the yeah. Tritons. Win All right, let's game. bet it. Let's, let's bet go. It. Let's Come bet on, it. Day action. Let's bet it. Triple Four. lock. Guys, <laughs> I, I'm i not going to bet this one either. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. This guy over here. Uh, double lock on UC San Diego. The Tritons. Look at this guy with this. What do you call that thing that's in his, uh, his hand there? A Triton. That's is that the Triton. A, is that an actual Triton? Yeah, I believe that's I just the Triton. For the keyboard. That's pretty fucking badass. Um, yeah. You can get a two out there. That's a big half point, baby. This is going to be a tight one. Let's, Let's go. go. Um, we're about to uh, cash some more. So the best part is I have some. Uh, I have a. I got. I took a phone call to them tonight. <laughs> And uh, I re- I received word boots on the ground in the fine city of Daytona Beach, Florida. Oh no, that that's 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 coming up next. Actually, hang on. Here, let's just. Oh my God! How many? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I received word that someone was at a bar with several players. From JSU. Now, when was this? Take <laughs> this was a couple hours ago, two hours ago, maybe three. Uh, now, let me take it for what it is. It could be one player just doing cherry bombs. He's twelfth man on the bench. I don't know, but I got I got some inside intel that cocktails were being had by. There's, uh, there's 350 live watching. There's thousands that listen every day. There's plenty of sources for the college experience here. Yes, and uh, well, and the then in Daytona, they have to be just. Uh, they must not realize that tomorrow they're going up against a, the undefeated, a four and zero. Oh. Yes, and if I were you listening to this, go and grab those futures on them to win the Natty. You saw Tristan Newton <laughs> win two in a row. <laughs> All right, we raised him. We got it. We got a whole team of those guys. All right. So ECU laying two and a half. <laughs> it's come down a half a point since this morning. Stop it. All right. Because Michael Schwartz year three, this is where the tide really turns. And may the Schwartz be with you. What a world. What a world. We both. 
Play the two and a half. Go. We set out to Daytona Beach. Now we'll never be the same. Never be the same. Cause we believe. Sex. Ah, Mac. I, I was looking to see what you guys have done in the uh, preseason tournaments, but I do agree with you. Jack State just played their game of the year. They, they beat Coastal by about uh, 25 on the road. They made every shot. They haven't been they haven't been making shots like that all year. I like ECU to pull away, win by 7-9. to nine. I'll lock it up with you. Let's go Pirates. <laughs> oh, the song I, is back. <laughs> I am also going to come on it. I triple lock it. I think Whoa. if there's if there's if there's a, a program and a team and a fan base that is used to the Daytona scene, it's <laughs> oh, it, it's yeah. gotta be the pirates from Greenville. Uh I'll trust East Carolina game one and I trust the source that is already telling us that uh, Jacksonville State's having a little bit of fun in the bars right now in Daytona. So that's yeah, what I'm talking about. With the pirates. That's what I'm saying. We're not gonna be afraid of checking into a hotel and Seeing a used condom on the ground, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> joking, but uh, may the Schwartz be with you. Triple lock three times. We gotta play that song. You should be so lucky. And uh, why didn't we have odds on uh, this fine, fine contest down there? What's the Summer Slam? I, I forget the you name gotta, of this thing. You got to take yeah. it up with MGM and the other. Books. I'll give him a phone call after after ECU hits. Uh, mo- so now let's move back yeah. to the Two likes games. of. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina, Oklahoma State is laid one and a half against Florida Atlantic. FAU, uh, I've already kind of revealed my hand here. I am on FAU. I am taking the point and a half. And I can be talked into a lock, Mac. Yeah, I mean, I'll put my Big 12 bias aside here. I think FAU, you you look at what they've done. They went to um, the bounce house, competed. Then they, they played in a crazy <laughs> overtime game with Charleston. Then they played a crazy overtime game with Liberty. I think they're more battle-tested. I think Lutz is a good coach, but the roster's not there yet. And Jacobs is familiar with the Big 12 over at FAU. So... Give me a uh, give me FAU lock it up. I think Let's wrong go. team favored. Let's go. A flip, I think. This is a, a triple lock. Oh, the locks yeah. are flowing, flowing. Yeah, I I'm on Florida Atlantic in this one. We've already talked about it uh, when we were previewing the tournament. Uh, uh, they've already played on this court twice and during last weekend. They probably practiced here throughout the week. Uh, because they did not leave Charleston. They didn't go back to Boca. And Oklahoma State, in my opinion, has been playing with fire throughout the year so far. Green Bay, St. Thomas, Southern Illinois all had chances to knock off the Cowboys in the second half of their games. Uh, Give me Florida Atlantic. I think they win this one outright by at least five points. I I would take an alt line here. Triple lock on the out. Who? 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 Is going to make us cash tomorrow night? The owls are. Oh, Julio, right. Real quick, Julio, where's that stat from? What do you mean they're eight and zero against non-conference team? They're only three and zero on the year. Yeah, this is a wild. It's, stat. it's a it's a brand new coach. Yeah, I was just curious uh, where the stat was from. South Florida, Conway, South Carolina. We just talked about them. Uh, they're laying eight and a half against the Portland Pilots. I mean, Portland looked good against l- the old, the bigger brother, the Oregon Ducks, the other day. So, I mean, I want this pilot. I want. It's a matter of national security. <laughs> Give me the points. Don't like it though. <laughs> Julio, it's a new coach in a new coach and new <laughs> team. That's what I just said. <laughs> Subscribe to the Big 12 experience. Steve Lutz is new there. Mike Boyd was a coach last year. Uh, He's on Michigan staff now. Let's go, baby. Uh, I, I, I'm with you. I like Portland. 
I, I, I think, I mean, who's South Florida to be laying points this year? <laughs> to be honest, I'm probably end up betting this one. Check the picks page. Portland, Portland's not horrible. Yeah. Phoenix? I am going to take South Florida. Um, this is a combination of a couple of things uh, for me, but um, I think the Bulls put together a nice little weekend here uh, where um, they're, I like them enough that I, I think they're going to compete uh, very, very well this weekend. Um, again, I, I think this is a, uh, going to be a special year for the bulls playing for aar and uh the mte i think there's going to be plenty of storylines i think the bulls they start this one off right with a win and i think they cover this all right move it along oh yeah we can do it again guys if you want um but uh i didn't have damn My okay I'm okay you got it you got it you got it uh, no, Seton Hall is catching seven and a half against VCU in Charleston, South Carolina. I have to take VCU here. They look awesome. They might have the crowd. Seton Hall just won by a thousand. Uh, Who from Seton Hall is traveling, by the way, after seeing what this team has played like? So no far? one. No one. That's what I'm saying. VCU minus seven and a half. I mean, I could. This I, is I, another. I, it sounds crazy. We're, we're locking like, everything up, but I think so. Yes. Yeah. Lock. They, I mean, you just look look at what they've done recently. They've scored fifty. I, I know they covered last game the fourteen and a half, but they still only scored fifty four points. I think VCU puts the clamps on them, wins by double digits, going away. Lay the seven and a half. You know my saying: lay the seven and a half, take the five and a half. Lay it. Yeah, I. I mean. What's up, Phoenix? Look at Seton Hall's schedule that they've played so far. St. Peter's, Fordham, Hofstra, Wagner, and yet they have the 262nd ranked offense with a 44.5% effective field goal percentage, which is 301st in the nation. Normally, you don't want to take too many stats into account when there's just this small of a sample size. But the schedule hasn't been great, and these guys have been terrible offensively. And you're going up against a VCU team that has just been lights out from deep, and that's kind of you know, what you can do against the Seton Hall defense. It's a very good defense, and I already said it earlier in the show as well. They suffocate you inside, but I, I think VCU's got the shooters to to make this one uh, kind of non-competitive late. So lock up. Triple lock on the VCU Rams minus seven and a half. All right. Monmouth, Youngstown State, in Nagadocious, Texas. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> There's no penguins in Texas. What is, what is this game? Youngstown State's laying five. Give me Monmouth plus five. I have this is a hard handicap. It's 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 in the like the most random fucking place. I think Young sounds better than Monmouth, but not really by too much. Uh, no one's going to have the crowd. No one will be at this game. N zero people outside yeah. of the refs and Family the basketball members. players. I, like, I don't even know if the camera crew is showing up. Uh, Mac, am I an idiot for taking the five with Monmouth? No, 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 no. Monmouth, Monmouth's a lock. Monmouth's going to win their first game tomorrow. Uh, Young Sound coming off the crazy overtime game where they they all out effort against Syracuse probably should have won the game. You look at what Monmouth has done. They were in that game the entire way against Wichita. They hung in with Rutgers the game before that. This Monmouth team is getting better and better. Young Sound State has a new head coach in in, in Faulkner. Monmouth King Rice. They're going to get their first win tomorrow. I got Monmouth out right lock it. All right, let's do it. This oh, game makes no sense. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Five points on a neutral in, in the most random spot. No one's ever heard of the damn town. None of their fan base, none of their alumni has heard of this town. Phoenix? I'm going to take Monmouth. Like Mac had pointed out recently, like this is a young team that play with a lot of heart. And, uh, you know, they play to the final whistle, too. Like, a lot of those games were tight late, like you mentioned with Wichita State. Um, 
yeah, I'll take the points, but uh, I, I'm not going to bet this one. I'm going to stay away here. Moving forward, we're going back to Daytona Beach. Toledo, Stetson. Toledo's laying 13 and a half. Stetson's going to have the crowd. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of points. <laughs> yeah, I got to take it. I got to take it, but I definitely am not locking this one. <laughs> what are you doing here? No bet here. Uh he steps in. I mean, they, they they covered the other day against Oklahoma. Toledo, I mean, they what are they thinking about? They're going down to Florida. They're just happy to be in the sunshine out of fucking Ohio for a fucking weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Todd in the chat says, just wandered in. Y'all real degenerates gambling on everything. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, sweet. we'll be dead one day. I might have had a thousand dollars on a marble race during COVID. So welcome uh, to the show. Hit subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah please. My wife. What the fuck? Yell yeah. 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 T- 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 tell your friends. All right. Uh, you only live once. What are you going to do? Huh? Go to Disneyland. You spend way more, way more on that. Um, I, I'm going to lay the points here, guys. This is a Stetson team that got drilled by the Citadel. Let's not forget this. True. I like yeah. the Citadel. It's an interesting. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, Bradley, Texas State. Bradley's laying six and a half. I already told you out I'm on. Give me Bradley minus six and a half. Lock it up. I'm not buying this Texas State bullshit. Uh, Mac, what are you doing? Uh, we're battling, right? Yeah, man. Everybody's buying this Bradley shit. They're all, They're not good away from home. Texas State, disappointing loss to Evelyn Christian here. They're going to get up for this one. Texas State, money line. Texas State is a party school, so they can't handle Myrtle Beach probably oh, better than Bradley. Phoenix, uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? I, I already leaked my hand here, too. I, I think Bradley is the pick to win this tournament coming in uh, if you're not buying into Princeton. Um, and I think the Braves' defense is going to travel. They, they might not uh, play – too great offensively, but you know what Texas State can't do? They can't shoot either. So, uh, yeah, let's take the Braves. We got a battle. Phoenix, Dundee. With the Braves. Oh, I'm not locking this. <laughs> he takes him to win the fucking tournament. But he's not. Uh, only okay. six and a half, though. Come on. It's only six and a half. I am locking it then. No, if we go back to the World War II conversation that we had last night, you're definitely France, dude. All right. <laughs> um, no, no, no. I'm he's always I'm, running away I'm, from these locks. No, no. I'm actually the United States. Like I help out everybody. I facilitate a lot of the resources no. that goes into the actual battle. But I don't get drug in until somebody no. bombs Hawaii. <laughs> no, vetoed. Not true. All right, because uh, What's the battle of the Battle of Normandy <laughs> happened. Uh, uh, all that shit happened, and you were not on the boat, buddy. You were in France, and we were me and me and Mac were running in to save your country. All right, um, <laughs> coward. <laughs> uh, Robert Morris is taking on Cornell, Ithaca, New York. This is a, this is a real home game. No, no neutral site. Bob Morris catching nine. Cornell, damn, laying a big number. Respect them. Uh, no, I'm seeing nine and a half right now too out there. Uh, that's just too many points for me. I can't lay nine and a half with Cornell. Give me Bob Morris. Uh, Mac, what are you doing here? I'll I'll, t- I'll lay with Cornell. No bet. Uh, what's your name? Bob Morris has won their MTE. They, uh, they're feeling yeah. good about themselves. That's what I'm saying. I like that confidence coming into Ithaca. Bunch oh, of nerds. You were- you were right? sold when they beat New Orleans, Lindenwood, and Stonehill. <laughs> All those would do well in the Ivy. All right. <laughs> when I say well, meaning they'd win a couple games. Um, yeah, give me the points. Let's go. We're four I, and two. I'm feeling good I've about been life. Wanting, I've been wanting to fade Robert Morris so bad to start the season, but they keep playing cupcakes. And Cornell. I, I haven't seen enough from the big red yet this season either, really. Um, so I'm also going to stay away from betting this, but I, I think Cornell uh, covers. I, I like the spot against Robert Morris after their MTE win. <laughs> UNC Greensboro is heading to Bloomington, Indiana, catching 17 and a half points. 
Lock, they're covering this. 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 <laughs> Mike Woodson, 101. I'll take UNC Greensboro, who's got good culture, plus 17 and a half. What am I missing here? Mac? Not much. Uh, they just beat South Carolina. They scored 90 again. I mean, they're making shots. Greensboro's a good uh, good team here from SoCon. And they're looking ahead to Atlantis. I mean, they got they got Louisville on deck all day. Greensboro, lock it up. Yes. Greensboro's got Vegas next for what it's worth. They're not looking past Indiana. No, they're yeah. not looking past Indiana. <laughs> You're right. I'm just countering with yeah. Greensboro's also got an MTE next. Uh, I, I'm on Sparty here, too. And uh, yeah, why not? Let's let's lock this one up because yeah, Indiana's got Louisville next, and uh, they're heading down to the Bahamas. Shout out to Mor- Moronic in the chat who says he'll be at this game. Tag us on Twitter at TCE oh, on okay. SGPN. Let's go we'll Assembly Hall. Re- hell yeah! Um, uh, where the hell is our music again? Huh? Got all this crazy shit on here. No, not that one. This one. Okay. Friends, Triple lock. Loyalty, UNC Greensboro plus 17 and a half. All right. Eastern Michigan, Oakland. Noah, why are you not at this game? Because all these other games are on. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fire slate of games. And, the Golden uh, Grizz are laying eight and a half in Rochester. It's too many points for my Eagles. You know, I'm a, I'm EMU through and through. All right. Give me my Eagles plus eight and a half. Mac, what are you doing here? Just like a confidence booster game. Can't be blowout. Uh, give me, I'll lay with those. <laughs> they've been playing. Hey, they actually been playing all right recently against Kansas, Illinois. Everybody's remembering that Boise game. I think, I think Oakland's going to open it up against this fraud from EMU. I've Don't always talked bad about my go. boys. I've always said it from the get go. I, I don't know. Was Kramer central and uh, Colby was Eastern and uh, Sean, maybe yeah. Western or whatever. My team has always been Oakland closest D one team in to my residence, the golden Grizzlies. I ride or die with give me campy. They destroy Eastern Michigan and get, get this EMU crap out of here. Lock it. No. <laughs> oh, come on. He said they're going to just. If I was, it. if I was locking it, I'd be there. But uh, no. <laughs> be coaching. Uh, fucking, who's that fucking LeBaron guy on the end of the bench, bro? <laughs> all the referees. <laughs> um. All right, and I couldn't find a line on this chat. I need your help. When I made these slides, I could not find a line on NJIT heading to Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, to take on Bucknell. 13 and a half buck now <laughs> lock wow. NJIT dude. <laughs> it's too many points. <laughs> oh, you're like the Ivy. <laughs> yes. I understand they're terrible. That's a big ass number lock. <laughs> See you over there. I'll fly solo. I got my, my sword, with my Highlanders. <laughs> All right. I've got my sword. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking Buffalo. We're staying in this. How the hell are you gonna how the hell are you gonna lay that many points with Bucknell? Because the Patriot League is fucking on fire recently. They've been covering these games. Uh I'll lay it. Get NJIT out of here. Go back to your Jersey institution <laughs> bullshit. I ain't <laughs> been <in> this game. <laughs> I'm going to take the points, but this is crazy if you bet this. <laughs> no, it's not crazy. Dude, how many times can you ever like catch Bucknell as a double-digit favorite? You have to take the points. Just general rule of principle. I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested. Baylor, St. John's Ooh. in the Bahamas. There is a cafe, a diner. I looked it up earlier today. 2.3 miles away from the stadium. Uh, but this game's awesome. I was really conflicted with this. I got Baylor's my team to win the Big 12. I got St. John's my team to win the Big East. I'm just all over the place here. But I believe that Rick Patino has had this one circled. Baylor's been going through the gauntlet. I just feel like there's it's another good team on the schedule. I think Patino's been waiting for this one. Give me the Johnnies plus two and a half. 
or just ride the money line. This game's awesome. I can't wait. I am. Who's more likely to get absolutely shit hammered though in the Bahamas? It's probably the Johnnies, right? Uh, probably. Mac, what are you doing here? I'm locking Baylor. I think they're better than the St. John's. St. John's off of New Mexico, the Patino Bowl. Um, I don't think they're going to punk Baylor on the glass like they did New Mexico. I think the Baylor guards can neutralize the St. John's guards. And Scott Drew ain't a bad coach himself. He's a Hall of Famer as well. So give me Baylor, lock it up, minus two and a half. Let's go. We got a couple. Uh, have you paid attention to the injury scene there? Who's banged up? I mean, Love's been out for the yeah. entire season. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. He is like, yeah. I thought you were going to say, like, uh, well, in Jonga, too. Um, but. I, th- yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't think Jonga is too much of an impact for this team. Um, Omir playing at the at the five is nothing he's not used to. So it's o- Ojawuna. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so I so I, I'm on St. John's in this one. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about Baylor so far. Uh, one, I don't. I don't trust the defense and I made that known from the preseason here. And I still haven't seen anything to make me get off of that thought. Um, and the other thing here is I think this is a, a, a Baylor group that has also, uh, you know, had trouble with turnovers, uh, both Roach and Omir, uh, some t- turnover trouble. And then also you have a freshman uh, point guard, Rob, uh, Rob Wright, who's, you know, gotten some playing time and uh, VJ Edgecombe as well. Like, Two freshman guards, and then also the the two vets that have had turnover mistakes. St. John's is going to press in this one, and I think this is an opportunity for the Johnnies to showcase that uh, new group of players that I think is going to really upgrade the offense from what it was last season. I don't have a lock on this, though. I'm just going to watch. The Baylor zone gets some cross fence lines. Money Line Mac did lock up the Baylor Bears. Uh, Mercer, take it on South Carolina and Columbia. The, the South Carolina is like the Mecca for college basketball tomorrow. You got games in Conway games in Charleston all day. And then you got uh, Clemson and South Carolina on the card as well. Um, the hell's going on the Palmetto state to the yeah. basketball state. Apparently uh, Mercer's catching 18 and a half. Are we going to go back to this? <laughs> Can we go back to this Mac? I'm taking the points, taking the points, <laughs> no wager. The- <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I took I took the points. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm also going to take the points cuz uh South Carolina off the Indiana beat down and uh, a little bit of a, you know, sandwich spot as they play Xavier next uh in Fort Myers the MTE there. So, um I'm going to take the points with Mercer. Syracuse, Texas, and Brooklyn, New York. Syracuse catching 10 and a half points. I know Syracuse look like shit all three games. They got very yeah. fortunate to win all three of them. But this is a Syracuse home game in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. I'm locking up Syracuse plus 10 and a half. They stay in this game. Mac? I'm puzzled by this line because yeah, Syracuse looks like shit, but what game for Texas convinced you that they should be laying double digits in the state of New York against Syracuse? Was it Mississippi Valley, Chicago state, Houston Christian, or the loss of hot? No, uh, Syracuse lock it up. Yeah. Let's go. Phoenix. Yeah. And I, 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 I go and look at uh, what Rodney Terry's done uh, so far in non-conference play as a head coach. Uh, one point win against the Louisville team that was an absolute dumpster fire last season. Ten point loss to UConn. Everybody loses to UConn, but Marquette they get drilled off the floor. Twenty one point loss. Uh, LSU they only beat nine by nine. They struggled last season. Um, I haven't seen anything from Terry that leads me to believe that he's going to be able to get the Longhorns to pull away by double digits against anybody, especially when it's going to be a semi road game here against Syracuse. So yeah, I'll take the orange block. No, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bet on Syracuse. That hasn't really showed a pulse that yet this season either. 10 and a half. 
Home I mean, dog. T- Texas hasn't shown a pulse either, but uh, I mean, they've yeah. drilled a couple of teams. Syracuse I mean, has barely gotten by by the skin of their teeth. Fair, but like Texas, their one decent opponent they played, they got worked. I don't know. I'm, that's why I'm taking points, but I, I I don't love what I've seen from Syracuse. In uh, fairness to Syracuse, they did not have a, a Mississippi Valley on their schedule. They had Youngstown. they had a Lemoyne. They had a Lemoyne. Oh, Lemoyne would don't fuck give them this. Don't give don't give them this. They had a Lemoyne. <laughs> they only beat them by four. Oh, that's a little brother. The yeah, Texas Lemoyne played slander. a Houston Christian little brother, and they beat them by 40, <laughs> 45. <laughs> It, uh, it, it, Noah's secretly padding that Texas number three ranking in the college football. Dude. I know that bullshit. <laughs> Absolute yeah, bullshit. Not. Don't go there. This is fucking <laughs> Syracuse money line. They're going to win outright. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, here we go. Radford, Clemson. I need a line on this. Couldn't find a line on this. Not this game again. This was a trap. I, I I fell for this last year. I'm not I'm not not locking it this year. I fell <laughs> for this. Nineteen and a half. Nineteen and a half. I'm still taking year? the points though, but no lock. It was fifteen and a half last year, so it's up four points. I think Radford's better. Give me Radford. <laughs> Phoenix. Yeah, and Clemson plays in. Uh, yeah. Uh, they have Daytona in empty as well coming up Monday. Um, yeah, I'll go Radford in the points here, but uh, I don't love this. <laughs> Bryant Stonehill. I need a line on this Southeastern Massachusetts. Um, I want to take Bryant. <laughs> What's uh, this line? 11 and a half lock Ooh. lock. I will lock up Brian minus the points. Stone Hill shit out of here. Smack. It's a, I, I, I'm going to take the points of Stone Hill. I actually, they shed a little bit of a pulse last weekend. No bet though for me. I'm in the same boat as Mac. I'm actually going to take the points here too. Bryant uh, off of a, a close game against Delaware. Um, you know, uh, I'll take Stonehill in this one. Mm. All right. Niagara, Kent State. Kent State's laying 15 and a half in Kent, Ohio. I will lay it. Mac? Um, I'm going to lay it with Kent as well. I am almost tempted to bet Kent. Niagara, Niagara is terrible. <laughs> they played out of their minds the other night and barely <laughs> covered the Bowling Green game. Check the picks page. <laughs> Phoenix? I. I'm going to take the points with Niagara. Um, I, I I don't have any conviction on either side of this one, but Kent State, I I, I mean, they've had a week off. I, I don't know if that helps or hurts them here, so I'm going to stay away. I'm going to take the points, though. That's a lot of points. Vanderbilt, Nevada. You know where I stand on this. It's one of my favorite plays of the day. Nevada minus three and a half. Lock it up. Steve Alford, coach of the year. Put him in the final four. Let's go. Uh, shout out to Mike giving us fifty dollars. Appreciate you, brothers. Fire night for all of us on a top on top of a sneaky great yeah uh, yeah great night live official play. Let's go. Appreciate you, Mike. Mike's the fucking man. Um, thank you. YouTube.com slash the college experience. Um, Mac, what are you doing here? I'll battle you. We're not in Reno. We're out. We're on the East Coast now. Vandy, outright. Let's go. Mark <laughs> Byington. You're Get gonna regret off. this one. Uh, Beanick, you went on on this before I press this uh, fire fire music. Go go ahead and press it. I'm not gonna jump in on the battle on this one. Okay. <laughs> we got a battle in Charleston. Commodore bullshit. This phony little hat. Wolfpack. Let's go. Never understood. So I'll say were. I'll uh, say this about Nevada. Last year they did win the Diamond Head Classic. They went three and zero in their MTE. Um, and Vanderbilt hasn't played a road game yet either this season. Uh, for what it's worth, I am a little bit higher on this Nevada team than I am uh, Vandy, but I don't know what to make out of Van- Vandy yet. All they've done is uh, beat Cal which was without their head coach, Jackson state, Southeast Missouri and Maryland, Eastern shore. So I'm going to wait and see. This one's going to be a great game though. I think 
Can you imagine going to war with one of these hats? <laughs> Commodores. <laughs> so puzzling back then. Civil War, there's so many, I have so many questions about the logic back then. Just like, I'm just going to stand there and take a bullet while these guys, they're reloading. So just, yeah. Hey, kill me. <laughs> it's like, just horrible. Horrible. You got, yeah, like, like uh, everyone's got swamp ass walking through the South. It's fucking horrible. You're in denim. You're wearing fucking denim. It's the worst. So it's like I I watch all these little Civil War documentaries. Ken Burns. That had to be the worst time. That was a terrible fucking time. Oh, just a terrible time to to live. You got to wear this one of these fucking hats like this. I know it's not exactly, but I'm saying like a lot of people wear those fucking hats. It's terrible. What do you think? What are your thoughts on the Civil War, Noah? It happened. Uh, it was fought for a really good cause. Uh, to but I'm saying, free... can you imagine, like, in the summer months, going like w- w- trotting through fucking North Carolina, yeah, or, or South Carolina or wherever? Just they wanted to look good doing it. I love in red or blue America. instead of camouflage. You know. What'd you say, Mac? I'm sorry. I love I love the Civil War documentaries. Yeah, yeah. man, they're all fire. Yeah. Oh, they're fucking great. But I never understood like the. Oh, we shot our musket. Uh, I'm just gonna have a, a team that just sits there and just like, you, like you have a, you have pride yeah. that you're just gonna take a fucking musket to the face or the chest. It's, it's like it's like kamikaze pilots at that point. At least run in like zigzags or something. What are we doing here? The bullets are all terrible. It's fascinating to me that they just could brainwash people. No, just stand there and take the bullet. Take the fucking bullet. Um. <laughs> Max taking the bullet on Van Vanderbilt. <laughs> um, we got a fun one here in Conway, Arkansas. What a game! Uh, what's this? What's this line? I couldn't find think, this line. What do you think it is? <laughs> Cocktail Seems. napkins got Central Arkansas minus two. Really? Ooh. I was going to have Semo minus two. Semo minus one and a half. No, this is a bet for you. I'm not playing this. Come on, play the napkin. What the fuck's the point of that napkin? <laughs> I'm on Semo. I I, I I I think they're a little bit better. <laughs> no no, no yeah. lock su- surprisingly. <laughs> sure, I'll uh, I'll ride Semo with you. No bet. <laughs> Phoenix. Uh, I'll go Semo <laughs> as well. Um, I think they've played the better composition. They've you know come competed (laughs) central arkansas has gotten ran uh by two utah schools and on a western illinois team they only lost by two but that leather next team is really suspect in my eyes right now (laughs) uh clark we did a a whole thing on georgetown's fan turnout tonight you should check it out at the beginning of the episode we want we want uh, your, your your take on that um, I have been ODing on the History Channel at, at my parents' house. That and fre- well, Forensic Files, I OD on anywhere. It's like my go-to at the anytime I'm at a hotel. Just I want to go to sleep. My I and my wife found it very creepy that I just like watching, fr- falling asleep to Forensic Files. <laughs> you know, just just a pet peeve of mine. I like hearing that narration. You know, uh, just who I wonder who narrates that. I need to look up his credits. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, Presbyterian, Stephen F. Austin. Do we have a line on this? Stephen F. minus eight and a half. I will lay the eight and a half and you can talk me into a lock here, Mac. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's the right side. Uh, Presbyterian, I'm trying to remember what they've done on the road so far. At Kennesaw, they kind of got Lost drilled. by 18 at Kennesaw. <laughs> They were competitive with NC State. They only lost by nine. It's Stephen F. Austin's uh, first home game against a D1 opponent. I'll yeah. lay the points with the Lumberjacks. It it kind of does feel like the Stephen F. spot, kind of like Bob Morris, where it's their MTE, feeling good, make a statement. Yeah, I'll bet Stephen F. Let's go. Double lock on the Lumberjacks. Thanks, Tyrion. What is Presbyterian doing in Nagadocious? Naga, Naga, Naga to win here. 
That's what Presbyterian's going to do here. Not going to cover either. Um, or just fly into. <laughs> yeah, I have no fucking idea. I've spent a lot of time in Texas, and I've never seen a sign. I've driven through Texas like 30 times, uh, and I've never once seen a sign for Nagatoshis that I, that I recall. I have. I have. Yeah? It's, uh, I was on my way to Houston one time, and yeah, I saw I saw uh, the sign there. Yeah, didn't stop never, didn't stop in though, huh? Uh no, it wasn't on the top of my list, Stephen. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Love uh, UT Martin's heading to Corpus Christi. Maybe you stop there. Uh, this is where a you... great logo. Is that is that real? I've never Which seen one? that before. Which the Corpus one? Christi one? Yes, that is real. Both are real, but. Uh, uh, both logos are fine. I mean, I love the UT Martin one too, dude. Um, what's this line? We got we got a uh, line on this one? Dude, this line is nine and a half. Martin's been chippy. I know. Lock. I I agree. I mean, I mean Corpus Christi, this is their first home game. Um, but still, I mean, UT Martin. They they should have won at Longwood on Saturday. They were competitive with North Alabama until the wheels fell off at the end. They won at Illinois State. I I like UT Martin again. The Jukes. Skyhawks. That's a fire logo too. People sleeping on the Skyhawks logo. Beanick, what no. side you on? I, I think it's a little too many points for uh, the Skyhawks here. And Jeremy Schulman, I. I think he's a great coach, and he's gotten the guys to play pretty well so far this yeah. season. Uh, you know, all of these games have been pretty close for most of the game, so I, I think they keep it within the nine and a half here. I want this pilot. I want – it's a matter of national security. Lindenwood is taking on the Crusaders of Valpo with their logo. just looks like just absolute shit. It's like this dude fell in shit. Um, uh, Valpo's laying ten and a half. <laughs> Have they ever laid ten and a half since that is Bryce wild. Drew left? I, I'm a little bit rattled here because I think I took Lindenwood one of my one of the several forty point loss bets that I've placed this year. I think one of them was Lindenwood, if memory serves me correct. Um, I'm still taking Lindenwood. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mac? I think they're daring you to take Lindenwood with that 10 and a half. Let me lay it with uh, Valpo here. Random. No lock. No lock here. It went by 12. No Phoenix, what are you doing here? This one smells like absolute shit, just like that guy in uh, whatever that brown shit is that he's covered in. So, yeah, I mean, this happened once or twice with the whatever you want to call them, the, the Crusaders or the Beacons last year, and they actually would get up in these stomp spots and – uh, beat somebody up randomly. Um, yeah, I'll lay the points in this one. Shout out to our friend Cody Frazier. Yeah, I got really fucked up in Falpo once in college. Terrible town. <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> uh, Texas A&M Commerce is heading to Norman, Oklahoma. What's this line? Let me guess, like 25 and a half, 27. Yeah, 24 and a half, I'm 27 guessing. 27 and a half. Is that what it really is? Or are you fucking Yeah, 27 oh, okay. and a half. Oh, man. Give me the points. <laughs> I I mean, yeah, I they the problem is they just played at UConn and they, they've been traveling like crazy. Uh I'll still take the points, but I'm not betting this game. I'm also gonna take the points. Oklahoma heads the, the Bahamas next. Um Commerce has been a team that like the cocktail napkin's been pretty friendly with. Uh, but like Max said, after the UConn game, just one day of rest, uh, you're traveling back from stores in the Norman. Uh, it's tough. I'll, I'll just take the points here. Yeah. Clark saying, isn't commerce going by a different name now? Yeah. When, yeah when has Colby abided by any of these name changes? You can't Clark. do this shit. <laughs> Colby just once, ignores it. <laughs> yeah. Well, once, once you are public, you're a public. We all talk about you every night. You can't go back on this shit. It's like a fucking tattoo. You know what I mean? All right. I'm sorry. You are who you are. All right. Um, the the Central Florida Golden Knights. Uh, yeah, all of it. It's all bullshit. Yeah. All, all the nickname changes. The uh, George say, Washington. Oh, we, we, we got rid of it because it was racist, <laughs> right? And it's like it's just the dumbest fucking argument ever. It's Honestly, like every like, every little like thing is racist. Naming- I like you. I like you naming your college after your city rather than East Texas A and M. Yeah, it's what just does that even mean. 
It's stupid. Uh, it's all stupid. Texas A&M, I guess. Yeah. Well, like, what in this one? I don't even understand it. Like, uh, the, I, and I, like none of them. The Crusaders like, makes no sense. Isn't College Station in like Southeast Texas? How mu- how much further east can you go? Um. Shout, shout out to out Frank to, giving us fifty dollars. Super yeah, Appreciate you, Frank. Frank and Josh, by the way, in the last minute. Shout out to you guys. We appreciate it. It's it's just the the like Crusaders. Who who that happened? What? I, I it's just dumb. It's just dumb to me. It doesn't make any sense. Pussy ass society. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, 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 like, how are these pussies? You know what it reminds me of when I moved to when I first moved to LA. I was living in Hollywood. And, uh, like, honestly, one of the first couple of weeks that I was living there, there was a gigantic school shooting. I don't remember which one it shows how ridiculous our shit is right now, but, uh, or was and is, but there was like a, I'm going to the subway, like the subway station, not the sandwich, not, not the place with the artist, the sandwich artist, uh, that are so fantastic. Um, but, uh, the actual train and, uh, there was like a, a like, 200 people or I don't know, a hundred people protesting, blaming the Hollywood violent films like the matrix and reservoir dogs for the school shooting. That's what it reminds me of. It's like, no one's connecting these things. You know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about? Um, just a, just a stupid world. Anyway, uh, Central Connecticut State. I think we got a classic, classic Northeastern here. Here, Central Connecticut State is taking on Sacred Hot. Um, fucking Sacred Hot is what's this line? Because the real Blue Devils are going to fuck them up, dude. They are laying three and a half. <sighs> this is insulting. This is insulting. Central Connecticut State's a much better team. I'm laying it. Former conference uh, rivalry, I guess, or just yeah. former it, conference matchup in the NEC. Is this fucking awesome, Pete Moorhead from tonight, though? Reeks. The real Blue Devils are real. Sacred Heart's first home game of the season. I'll join you. I I, I like Fade and Sacred Heart. I don't think they're very good at all. Let's go. I'll dive this go. Tonight. Phoenix, I'm gonna take the Pios. I I don't I don't stray away from the Pioneers. Let's go, Sacred Heart. Mm. Mm. Uh, Oral Roberts, they're terrible. They're heading into Oxford, Mississippi. Dude, I want to bet this so bad, but Ole Miss has been so questionable. They got to look ahead too. I'm gonna lay the twenty and a half, but no bet, Mac. I'll lay it. No, no bet either. Phoenix. I think this is a a little too many points with uh, Ole Miss having uh, MT on deck. I I haven't really loved Ole Miss so far in their performances here, and Oral Roberts, I guess, has been a little bit better than I expected. So I'll just take the points. No bet here. Princeton. Taking on Wright State. I can't get over this Wright State logo. It's just fire. <laughs> um, Princeton's laying six and a half. Oh, man. Give me Wright State in the points. I just don't like laying points with these Ivy teams, even though I think Princeton's the right. They're going to win the game. But give me Wright State in the points. Mac? Uh, I don't know if they're going to win the game. I think Wright State's live in this game. I, I like what Sargent's done in year number one, winning at Miami of Ohio by double digits. They were in that Toledo game till the very end on the road. Princeton, I think they, they fall into that category of these preseason hype teams. Um, let's go. Wright State, lock it up. I am also going to take the points with Wright State. I'm not going to bet it here, but uh, Princeton has – I've cooled on how bullish I was on them in the preseason here. Moneyline Mac, lock it up. Right state plus six and a half in Conway. Uh, Tarleton State's heading to Ann Arbor. Michigan's laying 30 and a half. Lay it. <laughs> Tarleton's fucking horrible. Lock this up. Uh, Tarleton. 
96 to 62 loss against SMU, 91 to 62 loss against Sam Houston, 72 to 52 loss against Florida State. I I mean, Seminoles, I'm not sure what you're getting from them this year, but Baylor beat them 104 to 41. Michigan loves to run uh, top 100 tempo in the country, and they've been money from three, shooting at 64 and a half percent so far this season. It's been nuts. Uh, there is a little bit of a look ahead here with Virginia Tech on deck and Fort Myers, but uh, Virginia Tech, I don't think, draws that look ahead. Um, one more time, uh, you know, I'm actually going to buy into Michigan at home in a stomp spot. This is a super young Charlatan team that I'm fully out on. I'm taking uh. I'm not taking. I'm not locking it, but I'm going to lay no, it with I'm not Michigan. Locking it either. Uh, Tarleton, I will say, a couple of years ago, they uh, they were winning at Michigan in the second they were, half. But yeah. uh, that was Gillespie. a different regime. <laughs> and Gillespie different was regime, there. different play style. <laughs> Noah yeah. Beanick locking up Big Blue. Biff Pogi is uh, back on campus. Did you see that? He is. Yeah. That that might be enough to cover this. His presence. Uh, Yes, of course. Um, moving forward, uh, by the way, shout out to Trevor, Michigan. Uh, what did he say? Over 88 and a half uh, team total. Um, I need a line on Grambling heading into the pit against New Mexico. 18 and a half. Hmm. Who does New Mexico have on deck? I feel like they have somebody on deck. Arizona State. Yeah, that's in like San Diego or whatever, right? Kind of, kind of like Grambling. I like Grambling too. Give me the points. Yeah, I like. I, uh, I'm thinking about betting it. I mean, Grambling has not looked bad in their buy games. They've covered against Ole Miss. They covered against Florida. I know they're staying out on the road. Um, Pitt is is the the scary part. It's like UD Arena with Dayton. Yeah. But I feel like it's the right side. I feel like it's, Grambling's the the right side. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take a flyer here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Grambling plus 19, I think it was. Yep. Lock it up. Double lock. Phoenix? I'm going to lay with the Lobos. Um, I, I think one. Yeah, I, I think one um, coming off a loss will at least give them a little bit of momentum or a motivation. Sorry. The building will give them a little bit of momentum. Like Colby already mentioned, it's kind of like the same spot yesterday with the Dayton game, but also they're going to get a couple extra possessions in this one. Grambling 362nd in turnover rate this season. Uh, New Mexico 19th in uh, creating turnover so far. Uh, like I said a couple of shows ago, don't take too many stats into account, but uh, the turnovers is something that are uh, you know pretty, pretty easy to translate game by game. Um, I I think the Lobos get it done in their own building here. All right. Texas tech in Brooklyn. Mac, why is this line 10 and a half? I like my first thought is we should bet the hell out of Texas tech, but I'm trying to make sense. They're taking on St. Joe's St. Joe's uh, is what? Four and one. I believe. I don't understand why this line's so short. I feel like this should be like a 15 point spread, right? Am I crazy? Who, who, who do they have if they win? Texas. <laughs> It's in Brooklyn. I kind of like St. Joe's. I was. I'm going to take Texas Tech just because I don't think St. Joe's is any good. But like, it is. Uh, it was a puzzling one. I did this one on the SGP show this morning, and I was just yeah. like, "Huh." Um, Actually, give me the Red Raiders. I I think this plays out like Cincinnati last night. Like, I think St. Joe's is covering from majority. Texas Tech makes her freak those wins by like twelve or thirteen. Phoenix? I, I like Texas Tech. Um, I think St. Joe's is just getting too much respect in the market. We've seen a couple of St. Joe's lines that just seem too off. Um, but uh, I, I think this is not the game to play Texas Tech. I think you play them uh, on Sunday here uh, against the winner of that other game. Yeah. Um, but uh, can't wait to see those two teams face off if both of them win their first all right, Eastern Washington and Pullman. This uh, have uh, dude, they played in the NIT, didn't they? I thought they played in the NIT, but I also thought in the regular season, Eastern Eastern Washington got Washington State a couple times in the past couple of years. 
this is a fun game. They're not, they're only like 40 minutes apart. I think if memory serves me correct, yeah. uh, Washington state's laying 11 and a half. Like I understand E-Dub and, and both these teams are breaking in new coaches and, but I just feel like, is this reek to you? I feel like 11 and a half is like a slam dunk. Am I, cr- am I crazy for this? No, I mean, this is David Riley's old team. He does. Yeah. Yeah, and I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, of, he brought a lot of transfers over. I think there's a lot of familiarity and I like Munson, man. I, uh, I think he does live in this game. I, I think the little brother's live. in this game. I, I always feel like it's live, but I'm just shocked that they continue to put this number so high. Is this game? Are you sure this game's in Pullman? No, it's not. It not. It's in Spokane. It's in Spokane. Uh, even better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah I love E Dub here. I'll lock it. Noah, are we triple locking this? No, I'm not going to come with you guys. I'm actually going to lay the points with the Cougs. Um, to me, Washington State. I, I mean. The the Cougars have really impressed me so far this season. Uh, they destroyed Bradley. They destroyed Idaho. They beat Portland State in the opening night. But uh, in this matchup, I, I think there's just a little bit more of a, you know, Riley cares about beating Eastern Washington a little bit more than Munson maybe uh, uh, beating Riley. Um, I'm, I'm going to be on the Cougars in this matchup. I, I disagree, man. I think the E does. Is there hostility over. against the former guy that moved on and allowed you to land at a no, really nice but spot? You want to beat them? You want to beat him? I mean, I, he, he. I think he, I think Riley doesn't want to lose more than you know. Yeah, which means he's going to coach tight. Uh, no, I I think he's got a, a solid solid team in Pullman this season. E dub double lock Tennessee Virginia. Wow. Good 12 boy. and a half is the line in the Bahamas. Hey, uh, what, what do we do wrong to the Bahamas? Hey, come, we're going to, we're going to send Virginia's offense over to the Bahamas. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> this what we should, we should lock tennis. Are they going to score yeah. enough? The, you know, neutral site offense might not be humming in game one. Are they going to score enough to blow them out here? This might just be a 60 to 45 game, which that would cover, but. <laughs> I mean, ten, I think Tennessee will. I think let's lay the 12 and a half. Let's lay it. Lock. Yeah. I think they're baiting you. I can recommend better games for the Bahamas. Now. Hey, we'll call 1-800-PICK-DUNDEE, whoever put together this tournament. Um, this would be like a if if these two game uh, play styles were a football game, Colby would be all over this. True, but I, it, to me, what would help it would be on campus. If this was in Charlottesville or Knoxville, I would think this is awesome. In the Bahamas, I got nothing against the Bahamar tournament. No, I like the tournament. I don't like these teams for the tournament. <laughs> You're trying to showcase college basketball, and the lay fan in the Bahamas who's trying to get into this, or whoever on on TV. I just think it's you could have chose more exciting teams. The, the lay fans already rocked from the three games prior here. They're not going to the nine thirty nightcap. <laughs> maybe, maybe you get something there. Um, Oregon, I'm gonna, Oregon I'm gonna lay the Civil War. Oh, oh, okay. I thought, I thought no, you already said I, I that. No, oh. I didn't give it, anything, but yeah, lay it. Um. Mac, this is another one that I just want to bet. I want to bet Oregon really bad, but I was kind of shocked at this line. Thought it would be more like eight and a half, nine, maybe even ten. Five and a half. Oregon at Oregon State, the Civil War on the hardwood. I Oregon State to me is phony good to me. Like their record looks nice. I think they're phony. But the line is pretty crazy to me. I just feel like Oregon's gonna drill them. I'm going to lock the Beavers. Oregon State's covered four straight in this series. Tink, Tink's, Tink's got uh, Altman <laughs> figured out. Yeah, I, I'm going to lock the, the Beavers here. Um, Cocktail and Hopkins only got them a two-point dog here at home, and uh, they've been a cash cow so far. Um, you know, they, they've been 3-0 and against the spread so far this season. And Tinkle was one of the – I mean, obviously, he's the head coach of Oregon State, but very outraged of 
the Pac-12 uh, dispersion last year, uh, voiced his opinion multiple times. And uh, I think there is plenty of motivation, uh, both from the coaching staff, the players, but also in this building. I think the Beavers get this thing done on the money line. Lock it up. I I, I agree with Noah, man. I, I, I think – they they drilled them in football too, so uh, they're not going to get drilled twice. They, they, this game's personal to Oregon State. I think Oregon State wins outright. I think or I think Oregon's a little bit of fool's gold so far this yeah. year. Battle Dundee with the Ducks, Eight. Mac Phoenix with the Beavs. Um. I can't wait to watch that game. Fun. Uh, Memphis is heading to San Francisco with UConn on deck. I think it is. Memphis is laying one and a half. Gosh, I've been waiting for the night slate. This is also a lock. Circled this date from the beginning of the season. The staples San- are sharp in San, San Francisco, Francisco at home against Memphis. This is the biggest home game yeah. in the non conference for the uh, Dons. They get I've up. Been- I think they win this one. I've been eating shit fading Memphis. I'm not, I, I've learned my, I've learned my lesson. All I right? haven't, I haven't been fully on, on, on the, the bet against Memphis train until right here. Pick this in the preseason on one of the TCE trims that we did during Memphis's dumpster fire meltdowns of fire and coaching staff and whatever else they were doing in the non-conference uh, San Francisco. I think they get this thing done. Um, Lock on the money line. This is a look ahead. Memphis has U- UConn on deck. It's a perfect, perfect spot. Yeah. Mac, you're with them. Oh yeah. This this is the this is the penny. They're gonna get blown out. Sanford's gonna drill them. Watch. They're gonna make every shot like they did that one time when Arizona State came to San Fran for a for a high major uh, field type game. San Fran, big. Let's go, Dons. Battle. Oh. Get this shit out of here. I'm so sick of these staples. Oh. Right? And I like the San Francisco program. Penny's got his shit together. They're, gonna, they're going in there. They'll probably drop the UConn game. They get this one, win it, win it outright uh, by uh, more than one and a half. So, The one thing I'll toss your way, Colby, and you'll love this angle. This is not on campus. This is at uh, whatever uh, Oracle Dome or this whatever, is, is so where San Francisco by got They're drilled so by dumb. Gonzaga. I can't but I'm going right down it. the well. This is a perfect, perfect spot. I mean, San Francisco's looked really good so far. They beat Boise State by 11 already this season. I mean, how can not you not? Not at that stadium. Not at that stadium. I think they're better than Memphis. Yeah, I, I think San Francisco is going to roll. Nope. See you out. I can't wait for tomorrow night's show. Uh <laughs> We got one more. The Air Force Falcons are catching 16 and a half in Berkeley. Take it on the California Golden Bears. I mean, it seems easy to say Cal, which is why I will take Air Force plus 16 and a half. Cal's going to win by 15. <laughs> Mac, what are you doing here? I have no bet here. Give me uh give me Air Force. Let's go. Everybody's shitting on me for not having many plays early on in the show. I started off with four. I didn't play many from like the six o'clock to nine o'clock with all that nonsense, but cocktail napkin has Kyle minus 22 air force has shown no pulse so far this season. In my opinion, I'm locking up Cal. Uh, they, they're also, I mean, plenty of momentum after the USC win maybe. Uh, yeah. I think Cal gets this thing done by 20 plus. Phoenix with the oh, late lock, the California Golden Bears. Love the ten o'clock slate. Tomorrow. Let's go, uh, folks. That's our show. But now we get to uh, give out our our top plays. Um, Mac, if you have this prepared, uh, fire away. Um, I, uh, I I can tell you this. Nevada is one of them. F- Vanderbilt bullshit. Um, uh, I, I'm ready to go if you want me to go. Fire. VCU, minus seven and a half. I think they win that 
Ooh, I uh, do double like digits that too. against Seton Hall. Bet number two, San Francisco plus one and a half uh, against Memphis. We just talked about that. Bet number three, Florida Atlantic. I think they win that one outright, but we're getting one and a half points with the Owls against Oklahoma State, who's looked really suspect in their three games so far this season. Uh, they haven't lost one outright, so I think the market still hasn't really caught on to that. But uh, the Owls don't look half bad under John Jacobs so far this season. Uh, if I had to go three right now, um, let's say. Uh, I also forgot the biggest reason for that. FAU played already two games in Charleston, and they stayed in Charleston, probably practice in the arena. So, sorry. Give me Nevada. Give me Vanderbilt. I'm sorry, not, not Vanderbilt. Uh, Eastern Washington, uh, Nevada, Eastern Washington, and uh, I think I think Phoenix right with uh, VCU. That's all favorites, though. I have favorites. Well, a shitload of well, dogs. Hit. A shitload yeah. of dogs hit today and yesterday. We might get a little chalky tomorrow. Uh, VCU was uh, up there with mine. VCU, Baylor, and Tennessee. They're gonna, they're gonna drill. They're gonna drill. I, I, yeah. Tomorrow's great. Tomorrow's a great day at college hoops, folks. Um, bring on feast week. I like yes. the appetizer, but I want it all. Oh, yeah. You mix this, you got a couple college football games going, or you know, just. You got an FCS game and an FBS game. Get on over there. There's just so much great shit right now. It's the best time of year. Feast week coming. By the uh, way, shout out up? to the live audience tonight. Around 350 in the entire show. It's 240 in the morning Eastern time. Click that subscribe button. We're going for 15K. Help us out. Let's go. Yeah. We're, what are you doing, folks? What do we go? I went 16 and 5. Mac, what'd you go again? 19 and uh, 19 and nine. Yeah. I mean, four and one. That's what I'm saying. Fuck's going on here. We're a free show. All you got to do is hit subscribe and it helps us. Shout out to the whole chat. You guys make it fun every single time. I remember when I was doing this, was, I used to do this show solo for years with no chat. No one was there. It was just no me Matt. talking. No, Noah. It's just me talking to the clouds. All right. Uh, so uh, to see what we've built this thing up into, it's been it's been great, and a lot of it has to do with all you all you fuckers in the chat coming back all the time. So Free game uh, show six o'clock Eastern uh, yeah. every day, by the way. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you check out the pregame show. Give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at Noah B. What's it again? Seventy seven underscore. Yeah. Uh, Moneyline Max on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D the college football, uh, the college basketball experiences on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. And uh, yeah, check out the college football experience. Check out the FCS college football experience. Check out the college baseball experience, the big 12 experience, the ride and rush show and uh, the sports gambling podcast. All right. The, the, and I'll throw in the bottom line bombs, the great CJ Sullivan as well. Till next time, folks, this is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. It's got me thinking about the good shit the minute that I seen you grill again. It made me good trip, good dog to mind back, like dog but why that. Man, I didn't get mad when you near me hit the cam back. But the coming song was strong. Now my shit's coming along, you know the song. The truth is I'm pretty much on five again. It's eating up the real, I'm alive again. Uh, and that's the attraction factor. Frank Buddha, Michigan with my rap disaster. Yeah, you know you want it, how you want it. No need to trip, cause I got it, dog, got it. It's all yours and the extras too. All the super music and the sex for hope. Uh, just get it straight, cause it caught me in a good mood. Let me demonstrate what this time of year could do. Sing it.